when you're running a short-term rental business, you need to make sure your communication's on point. I'm gonna tell you a story in a minute about a problem we had with that. But no, when you're managing one, two, maybe three rentals, you can get away with some things. But when you get to the point when you're managing 25 rentals, like I am in my short-term rental management business in New Hampshire, then you gotta make sure your systems and communication is in place. Now I'm gonna tell you a story that happened to me last weekend, not this past one. Well, who knows, when you guys see this, it might be four weekends ago. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. It was at the short-term rental summit put on by the Real Estate Robinsons. The person doing my guest messaging is currently out, so I'm handling the guest messaging. So I had a few guest messages come in that day, I answered them. One of them was, hey, can you send me the lockbox code? I didn't see it. Sure. So I went in there, kicked off the email again, didn't look at it, didn't pay attention to it. And I was like, all right, she's got a lockbox code. Maybe she didn't see it, it was buried in her email. It happens to me, right? We get thousands of emails. Then I go to bed that night, have a restful night's sleep, and wake up at 6.30ish in the morning. I don't remember what time it was. And it was dark and it was early. Guess what happened? I had a bunch of messages from a frantic guest who showed up at midnight to check into one of our stays and couldn't get in because they didn't have the lockbox code. Let me in. Let me in. I'm sitting here thinking, wait, I sent you a lockbox code twice. Like, why can't you get in? You can find it in your email. So I started digging and digging through owner res and took a look. I was like, something's missing here. So this stay was actually onboarded recently within the program before I took it over. And what I found out was not all of the information was filled out within owner res, which is my property management system. That's not a big deal, you might think, but it is because how it works is the emails are set up, so they're just gonna pull from these areas in the listing and put it in the email. And one of the things they pull is a lockbox code. All of these were blank, which means all I was doing was sending blank emails. Now, yeah, this resulted in a canceled booking, which isn't a huge deal. Like, I don't like canceled bookings, but I'd rather somebody be able to find a place to stay at midnight rather than me feeling like a jerk because I gave in proper communication because the systems were not in place to move this forward and get everything entered in correctly. So before I go ahead and talk about what we did to fix this, do me a favor. You know I want to get to a thousand subscribers this year. That's one of my goals. Hit the subscribe and like button. It really helped me out. I appreciate it. And if you're feeling really great, leave a comment down below. All right, so fix is fairly easy for this, right? I had my operations manager go through everything with a fine tooth comb and find out what's missing, what's missing, what's missing, and make sure it's in there. So that way, whenever we send off emails, those emails are gonna have the proper information in it, and we're not gonna have to deal with somebody at the house not being able to get in, which makes me feel like a jerk, and I don't want that to happen. So that was my story and one issue, but there's other communication you really want to make sure you streamline in your business so you don't have misses and confusion. Right now, for example, we have Grasshopper. Grasshopper is a virtual phone system, and in this phone system, we have all the messages coming through. We have the guests messaging us through this phone system. We have the cleaners talking through this phone system. We have the owners talking through this phone system, and we have prospective owners talking through this phone system. You can see how that can kind of get confusing because it's all coming to the same place. So we need to change that. We need to make it so when I look at a certain thing, I know it's a guest, a cleaner, owners, a prospective owners. So here's what we're going to do. First things first, we all know that the platform's communication is supposed to stay on the platforms for several reasons. One, streamlines communication. And two, if there's any issues at all that arise, all the communication is there. So there's no he said, she said, she said, he said sort of thing. It's just there. Black and white, this is what happened. So that's the first thing. Communication is going to go through owner res and Verbo because Verbo doesn't connect to owner res. That's a story for another day until we get a new PMS system that connects them both. Then it's all going to be in one place. Number two, cleaners. My cleaners all talk through this, but it's easy enough to move into something else. I like Slack. There are also many other things like WhatsApp and Voxer and probably 30,000 more. Let's move into one of those channels. Most likely I'm going to move into Slack, have a channel created so they can talk through Slack. They all have each other's numbers if they want to talk. They have my number too. They can call me. But normal text communication as showing up at the house, something wrong, something like that, that can go through that in our breezeway app. So that takes that off of Grasshopper. Now what we have left on Grasshopper is owners and prospective owners. I'm cool leaving that there. That way I know if I open Grasshopper, it's something to do with an owner. If I open Slack, it's something to do with internal work or cleaners. If I open owner res or your PMS system, then I know it's something to do with the guests. You might be thinking, eh, it's not a huge deal, right? But remember what I said earlier, you're gonna scale. At one, two, and three, you can get away with certain things. But when you get to 25, 30, 35, 50, 90, 7,000, who knows? You gotta get systems in place. And you also want those systems in place because I'm at 25 now, but I'm gonna grow. As I grow, I need the same systems to work. I can't set up a system. Now I get to 30, I gotta set up a new system. 35, I need to set up a new system. But I hope this helped you out. You can see how much communication matters. And you can see what happens when you miss communication. It's not just like, oh, a little thing happened. No, somebody missed their stay. 
They literally could not get in the house at midnight after driving. I would be pissed and I don't want that to happen to anybody else. So take a look at your communication, break it down and figure out how you can streamline it. So as you're growing, managing more properties, obtaining more properties, arbitraging more properties, then you can make sure that no communication gets missed and you don't feel like a jerk like I did. See y'all later.